Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a great bi-monthly travel subscription that has been once again sent to me for review. It is of course the Take Me With You box, which was once upon a time called the Travel Date Night box, but they decided to rename it because it is a box that is not just for couples. It can definitely be enjoyed by individuals, couples, families, because they always include some really great activities as well as items or souvenirs and lots of great information about the destination that is featured. So this box is just $44 per box, which I think is really, really reasonable for all of the contents. And then I do have a little code for you. It's Noel 5 and that'll save you $5. I will leave a link for you as well as that code in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get into it and see where we are traveling to this month. So inside, I'm seeing lots of stuff, right? So they always have this little tag on the inside. So it says, welcome to Ukraine. So definitely a country that has been in the news a lot. So we are gonna get all kinds of fun things as well as the monthly magazine, the passport stamp. So the first box you get, they will include a passport and then you get to put a little sticker in, basically a stamp for each country that you visit. So that is kind of neat how the boxes build on one another. And then of course they have ways for you to find them over on social social. So I'm going to prop that up in front of me. And then we have this nice information sheet with a good map just to kind of give you some context. Of course, we have the uh, capital of Kiev. The official language is Ukrainian. The currency is the Hryvnia, and the population is 43.8 million. And then here on the back, we have our navigation guide. So kind of guiding you through the box. So it says explore, learn, check out the magazine to learn about what's inside your box. Then you decorate. This is the activity. I'm not going to tell you. Then you assemble because we are celebrating a holiday. Then you taste. They always have some cool snacks or recipes to go along with the country. And then support and it says come together and support the people of Ukraine so they probably give us some ideas of ways to do that so I love that they created this journey for us within the box so let me go ahead and show you they just have the uh, colors of the Ukrainian flag there of course which again I like think a lot of people have been made more familiar with in the last year and a half almost so for unfortunate reasons so inside we did have our little stamp for Ukraine so here it is there's our little stamp that we'll be putting in our passport. I don't have my passport out. I have to go find that in my files, but they did send it to me the first time they sent me this box. And then here is our magazine. Now this box is put out by a traveling couple. I've been having so much fun watching their travels and their Instagram stories. And I just think they do a really good job with it. And they do a lot of like sort of interactive things as well, especially with the last box with Japan. They had some sort of uh, online meetups essentially because they wanted to tell us and share with us a lot of what they learned when they were on their own travels in Japan. It made me want to go there even more. And now I feel like it's going to make me feel more compelled to support and eventually, hopefully, one day visit this uh, beautiful country. So let me go ahead and show you it is a pretty like you know lengthy magazine that they put together and you can see it's got these lovely glossy pages so and they even have it you know formatted where they kind of give us little sneak peeks about some of the articles there's a table of contents so we have ukraine by the numbers we have uh meet the makers so the different vendors that contributed to the box uh pisenki popularity let me know if you know what a pisenki is before uh watching further in the video getting ready for easter Time Honored Traditions, The Bread Basket of Europe, uh, Meet Me in the Kitchen, so cooking sesh with a local, and then why we need your help and why this box is different. So um, I love Ukraine by the numbers. That's always fun. Uh, so it has the second most frequented McDonald's worldwide. I wonder what the number one one is, but that is pretty cool. So it says home to stunning landscapes like the Carpathian Mountains, Black Sea Coast, and picturesque countryside. Ukraine has inspired artists, writers, and poets for centuries. We're about to dive in and discover what makes Ukraine worth our consideration and continued support, especially now. We'll observe a rich history rich with diverse cultural heritage dating back to prehistoric times. We'll discover a modern, vibrant culture with unique customs, traditions, and festivals that are celebrated throughout the year. And we'll sample a cuisine that's as hearty and flavorful as it is fresh and locally sourced from abundant agricultural community. An abundant agricultural community. Finally, we'll enjoy Ukraine's warm hospitality and welcoming nature, making for a memorable Easter season. We can't wait to share Ukraine with me. Budmo, which means cheers. So that is so cool. 
All right, so here are our pages that tell us what's inside. Lots of beautiful color. We have uh, information about pisanki, which is the decorated eggs, because this is for the Easter season. This is the traditional pashka, or Easter basket. So that is the assemble part of our journey. And then we have information about traditional uh, adornments. They do a lot of flower crowns and garlands, which I love. Uh, sunflowers, which is a symbol of Ukraine. When I was trying to support some Ukrainian artists over on Etsy a while ago, everything had these beautiful, you know, blue skies and sunflowers, and I just, I really loved it. So the breadbasket of Europe, yes, they are known for their agriculture and how they do support Europe. And then we do have a QR code. It says, cook with me and my friend Danke, who lived in Kiev until she was 11, as we make a family favorite in her home, which is stuffed peppers. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love stuffed paprika or peppers uh, so good it's, I'm wondering if she makes it it looks very similar so this is beef and wild rice stuffed peppers so I learned to make kind of a variation of this uh, like a Yugoslavian traditional variation of this with a beef and pork and rice and I learned that if you use sushi rice it works really really well and you stuff them and then you kind of like let them simmer so I'm guessing that's probably similar to this recipe but I have to make that it. it is very hearty and so good and then it's just at the end it does say we need your help. So it's ways to donate. It says, uh, you may have seen that we source many of our products from small businesses in Ukraine and ones that are helping here in the United States. We're also donated a portion of the profits from each box sold to the UNICEF Ukraine Fund. We'd love to collect more funds from our wonderful subscribers to help as many people in Ukraine as possible. I think that's really awesome. So they gave us some ideas for ways to support or raise money if that is something that com compels you. All right, so... I love the sunflowers, a vital symbol of Ukraine's cultural co culture, economy, and identity. Huh. So it says the flowers, bright yellow petals, and brown center are often seen as representing the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Additionally, sunflowers are used in many traditional Ukrainian dishes, such as sunflower seed snacks and dishes. That's so cool. All right, let me go back to the page that tells us all about the items that we've got inside so that we can see what they are. Um, look how lovely this is. And you guys, look how they did the Ukrainian flag with the shred. So we got the blue on the top and the yellow on the bottom. So again, I think of that as being like beautiful sunflower fields with that lovely clear blue sky on top, but nice presentation for sure. All right, so it says, we're proud to announce that for the first time in the history of the Take Me With You box, we're supporting artisans in Ukraine with the purchase of many of our products. We're also donating, like I said, to uh, UNICEF. So that's cool. All right, so our item, this is, so it's in Cyrillic, so I can't actually read it. It says it's known as bird's milk. So let me go ahead and open this up. This delightful dessert is known as bird's milk and is sold in lots of different variations. Ukrainians love their marshmallow-like sweets dipped in dark chocolate, and we think you will too. So basically it's marshmallow dipped in dark chocolate. So perfect for an Easter basket. Now, some of you are probably thinking, but Noel, Easter was last week. But I believe that in Ukraine, they also celebrate Orthodox Easter, which would be today, because it's usually a week later than the Easter that we celebrate here in the US. So see, I did it for a reason. I, I was holding off on uh, sharing this box with you for a reason, so that we could celebrate Ukrainian Easter together. But this is kind of the star of the show, you guys. This is our hand-painted wooden pisanki egg. And again, they put the shred in there in the blue and the yellow. Your wooden egg was hand-painted in Ukraine and is patterned after the traditional Easter pisanki style. Historically, friends and family would gift them to each other at Easter time to protect their homes against misfortune. You guys, look how amazing this is. You are going to get that reflection. I apologize. But look, it, it's hand-painted, so it's not like perfect, but look at the detail on that. That is so lovely. I'm glad that they did it on wood versus like a, you know, blown egg, which are lovely and are a good way to hold on to your Easter eggs, but uh, are very fragile and may not have made it in transit. So that is such a cool item. I think that is so lovely. We also got, ooh, we got another snack. So they always give us fun treats. This one looked kind of familiar, like branding wise, right? This is Fizzy Cola. It says from the Ukrainian manufacturer Roshen, we bring you Fizzy Cola, the candy that fizzes in your mouth so kind of like a cola it says we bet you can't keep your mouth closed for this crazy taste explosion and it looks like we got like five of these so five of these candies and two of those big marshmallow deliciousnesses <laughs> that I just made it a plural word um, I'm excited about that 
what is this oh these are like shrink wraps you know how so i used i used to love dying easter eggs and i would get the like paws easter eggs right and it had that little like hexagonal spoon and everything and now there's like such fancy ways to do your eggs right you can do like the shrink wraps you can do like the stickers you can do i'm like give me the good old-fashioned eggs and now it's like tie-dyed and ombre and whatever. Um, I don't even dye eggs anymore, honestly, but I do love Easter baskets. There's something really fun about it. But these are the shrink wraps to make your eggs look like pisanki. So if you are celebrating Easter, but might be a little bit late, but you know, hey, might make it really cute to have it in your, if you're doing some hard boiled eggs, make them cute for your lunch. So it says egg shrink wraps. It says, do you love the beautiful Ukrainian designs, but you're not ready to paint them yourself? We've included these shrink wraps to jumpstart your festivities so you can make these beautiful eggs in the shortest amount of time. Simply slip a large cooked egg in the wrapper, dip it into boiling water with a metal spoon and wait until the wrap shrinks around the egg which is approximately three to five seconds. It says run out of wrappers, check out our website to order more. So I've definitely seen these, but I haven't seen them as pisanki, um, which is so cool. So um, they're just kind of showing you. They just come as little like wrappers and then they'll shrink wrap around and it'll be this nice decorated band. That's really cool. All right, what else have we got? This is beautiful. I love the items that they uh, selected for this box, but let me just pull this out and then you guys can see one more time. All that shred, oops, I just messed it all up. Um, I will say that my box arrived a couple of weeks ago when we had a major rainstorm and even though they put it into my box, like it was like leaking somehow, so the box was like drenched. So I, I, I'm very happy everything's okay. So we got this beautiful rushnik, which is a linen towel. And you can see it's got like this kind of lovely embroidered pattern. Now this is actually printed on there versus being embroidered, but it looks pretty realistic. So it's different on each side, each half. It says this traditional Ukrainian embroidery print towel is the perfect foundation piece for your Easter basket and a unique addition to your kitchen decor. And it totally goes with my kitchen because my kitchen is weirdly like red and black. Like I have black countertops and a black refrigerator and red accents. I don't know. It's very, it's very weird. Um, and it says, uh, we're proud to source this towel direct from Nat Natalia in Ukraine. It is machine washable and eco-friendly. So it does look lovely sitting in an Easter basket. And then they provided for us, look at this basket, you guys. Isn't that cool? I might put the shred back in it. But look at this. It's like made out of reeds. I think that's really lovely. Now, they didn't write on here that we got the basket. So I don't know if that came from Ukraine. But the way they had it laid in here was just lovely. So they had everything in here. And then we had like, you know, the eggs and everything were all nestled inside. So let me see if I can fix that up. And let me see if they said something about this beautiful basket, too, because it's so pretty. Um, but I, I don't see any information about the basket. So they talk about the Pisanki popularity, um, how you uh, can dye your own. Uh, so it says, you know, basically they use like a little wax pen. It's sort of like a batik style egg. So you choose your egg, you draw the design uh, using a pencil, you apply the wax using the kiss kistka tool you dye the egg dipping it in the lightest color and then you build right up to the darkest color but every time you do it you have to uh, cover up the part that you don't want to get covered again by the wax um, so you just keep going and you finish with the darkest color you remove the wax carefully by holding it like they usually i think do it like over a candle it's a very long process and then you enjoy your creation so they have some pictures of people um, doing it it's just very like painstaking process, but that's why I have a few that are actually from uh, Bratislava, I think. So they have that tradition there as well. And I have them as ornaments that I put on my tree. Yes, my Christmas tree, I have eggs on my Christmas tree, which is funny. So it's talking about the traditional pashka basket. So you create it, you have to have sweet pashka bread, which is baked high. So it's like one of those like nice big loaves like this. And then you have to have butter shaped with a cross or a lamb, dyed eggs, which symbolize new life, bacon or ham to symbolize abundance, horseradish with beets. Hmm. It says salt, cheese, and wine to symbolize love towards our neighbors, goodness, duty to others, and moderation in all things. So yes, this is definitely a religious Ha holiday but it also you can see the nod to agriculture as well and um, I think it's really nice that it's a uh, about celebrating 
abundance and supporting your neighbors and friends too so i'm just putting all my candy into there and i also kind of love that it's more of a savory easter basket and it's not you know filled with the sugary peeps that we're all so used to so this is such a cute little box that they have put together for us with our shrink wrap they again they didn't say anything about the towel but i think that's really nice that they provided it for our easter basket they're talking about the vinok which is a traditional floral wreath worn on the head now that would be a really fun thing to make as well i feel like we should do that instead of bunny ears for easter <laughs> and then of course they are talking about the bread basket of europe so in honor you guys of ukraine and their symbol of their culture economy and identity let's have sunflower be our secret password for today so if you're newer to my channel when you come across the secret password you want to enter it along with your contact information in the google form linked for you in the description box below and then at the end of the month i go through with a random number picker and i select a few winners to receive a mystery box as my way of saying thank you so much for watching my videos in their entirety and paying attention you do have to be 18 years or older you do have to have a u.s or canadian mailing address just for this month my canadians you'll actually be getting a gift card and then i think that i will have brushed the brushed off the the trepidation of getting things to canada because we did finally have some success so it eventually will be eligible for my canadians as well but you can definitely enter and like i said you'll just be getting a gift card just for this month and then we'll go back to mystery boxes for all you have to be subscribed to my channel not necessarily publicly you do have to uh let me know though via email and uh just remember you want to put that down there in the description box below you will find a link to the form don't put it in the comments put it in the link and then hopefully you win and usually there's like 10 to 12 passwords a month and I usually send out anywhere from 2 to 15 boxes so you have a pretty good chance of winning if you enter a few times because each password is an entry so our password for today again is sunflower in honor of Ukraine and that symbol of their heritage and uh, it's even it says it's depicted on the country's coat of arms which I did not realize so I really love that this box is trying to give back and supporting a country that is definitely in need of that support um, and of course these peppers look delicious you guys let me know if you have any connection to this country um, and if you have ever tried making pisanki these beautiful crazy beautiful eggs I thought this was a really good box and I love the suggestions for ways to get involved but also ways to enjoy this culture both with the decorations the flower garlands the recipes I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please help me out with a thumbs up and I will see you all very very soon in my next next unboxing and if you are celebrating orthodox easter happy easter